Hey, what's up guys, Eugene from Pantlet Designs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a helical sweep in Autodesk Fusion 360. So, so far, I haven't really seen any other YouTube videos on how to make a helical sweep, as currently Fusion 360 only has a coil option, which only allows you to make a straight coil. So, if I just make one right here, you can see it only allows you to adjust it up or down, and you can't make it along a specific path. With this tutorial, you'll be able to see how to make a sweep along a specific path so you can make springs or any kind of profile going along a specific path that rotates around a particular path. So from here you can see that there's this path right here in the middle, this half arc, which the spring is going around and I have made some parameters that I could use to be able to adjust this particular model. So I could adjust the sweep radius right here and say I want to adjust that to 10 so it's a little bit tighter. You can easily adjust that number of revolutions that it goes around and you can really just play around and really adjust this a lot to be able to make it do exactly what you want it to do. So now let's open up a new file and show exactly how this was made. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is actually going under modify and then change parameters and we're going to be making some user editable parameters to be able to make this helical sweep. What we're going to be doing is the sweep radius. So I'll make something called sweep radius and then I'll set it to be 10 millimeters by default. We'll make one called revolutions and that's how many times it's going to spin around a specific path and I'm going to set the unit to be no unit and set the expression to be 5. We'll make it spin around 5 times and then the last thing that we're going to do is twist angle and that's going to be set to degrees and that's going to be revolutions times 360. Okay and that's all the parameters that we have to start with. So now I'm going to just create a new component and create a sketch. And I'm going to be creating a sketch on the front plane, and this is going to be the path that it's going to be moving along. So it doesn't particularly matter what the path is, as long as it's one consistent um, curve and doesn't have any sharp edges to it. So I'm just going to do, say, a straight line right there, and then I'll do another three-point arc going from one point to the next. I'm not going to be going into a lot of details of how I'm making these specific things, if you want to see on um, all the shortcuts and that kind of thing, check out one of my previous YouTube videos, such as how to make my 3D printed wallet to be able to go through this much faster. So I'm just going to start adding some specific values to each of these so it's just fully constrained. And then this path will be good to go. Let's see. And then if it's something's not fully constrained, I just kind of click and drag it and see what's going on, see why I can still move around, and I'm just going to constrain that down to the middle. Okay, now that's fully made. So now we have our path completed, and now we have to um, create the first initial sweep that we're going to be doing on our path. So I'm going to go to Construct, Plane Along Path. I'm going to set the distance to be zero, so it's at the starting point. And then I'm going to create a new sketch on that new path. So right now what we're going to be doing is we're going to create two lines. There's one line that's going to be construction line, and that we're going to set to uh, sweep radius and then the next one that we're going to be making is just going to be another line that we're going to actually be going to the patch environment and then in there we're going to be making a helical sweep so that should be good you don't have to set a specific value to what the actual line you're going to be sweeping is I just usually set it to five millimeters by default okay so now we're going to be going to the sweep environment so we're going to go top left hand corner go from model to uh, sorry to the patch environment go to patch and then from here, you're going to go to sweep. You're going to select that little line segment that you made, and then the path is going to be that arc that you made. And you can see here, by default, it just kind of wraps around there, just like that, and it's not exactly what we want. So for twist angle, we're going to just type in the variable that we just made, twist angle, and then you can see it makes that curve around that particular path. So I'm going to just reshow my sketches so you can just kind of see what's going on. And now from here, we're going to have to do one more sketch on the front plane and we're going to be going into project select include and go to include 3d geometry and then we're going to be selecting the inside curve um, this just makes it easier because that's where the radius of that line that we made actually starts so it's actually going to be the right size so from there we can do stop sketch and then from here you could either just hide this body oh, so you could actually see here when I did this, it didn't actually include this last section. So from here, I'm just going to go back into the sketch, go to protect project slash include again, 
and then make sure it gets that last region. Include three geometry and then click on the last region and now that whole thing is selected. So now you can see we have the profile that we can make our new sweep around. So once again we're going to go to plane along path, we're going to select the new path that we just made, set it to zero, make us, I'm going to go back to the modeling environment, make a new sketch along that path, and now you can just make this any profile that you, you would want. Um, by default it's probably normally going to just be a circle. So now if I just select that region I just made and then that path, you could see I now have a helical sweep along the particular path and it's fully perpendicular at all points and is the way you would intend it to be. So from here, now that this is fully made, what you do is you can edit the user parameters if you wanted to to be able to play around with it to make it look better. So say I don't think it's revolving around enough so I'll change it to be 10 revolutions instead and then it will regenerate and now it looks much more like a spring. The more revolutions that you make it, the tighter the spring is going to get um, and can get a very different look. So that's pretty much the tutorial on how to make a helical sweep in Autodesk Fusion 360. I'm going to be making more YouTube videos on just general Fusion 360 tutorials or random little things that might help you when you're using it in the future. So um, check out my channel for future videos and tutorials. Alright, thanks.